Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. Sagittarius, I am back with you for another love reading. This is going to be initially dated for February 2021. But know that all of the readings are timeless. My readings are so specific that if this one doesn't work for you, go to my playlist and look at the... I haven't put them together yet, but the timeless and the horoscope one... Look under Sagittarius and look for the title that resonates with you and then go from there because my readings are so specific. So what I do here is I ask that your guides come through and visit and talk to mine so we can give you the highest and best information available. Now, if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, welcome back. This is the Morgan Greer Tarot. Make sure, Sagis, if this works for you or any of my videos, make sure that you put a thumbs up so it gets spread around to other Sagittarius that need to hear this healing message. One more. Okay, this is the overall card here. This is you, this is them, and this is the storyline. Flip these two as it resonates with your story. And make sure you comment down below because I'm nosy and I like to hear how these resonate with you guys. So for you, you've got the Five of Pentacles here the Strength card, and the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're trying to hold your own. You're trying to be really strong, but you are feeling like you have been left out in the cold and you have been wounded. Your person has Temperance, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Happy home, happy life divine timing and they're not quite in their their king energy they're in the night energy you've got the empress card here you've got the hanged man and the ace of pentacles now sagittarius guys is there anything that you would like to share okay not at this time I feel like you were you were disappointed with the way, the way they were approaching this. Like you were kind of wondering if if they were really in it to win it. They see you as this queen of swords here, strong, kind of gone silent. You know, but both of you have you know these two majors here. You're trying to have the strength and they're trying to have the hope that they can keep this balance. I think that they agree, though they might not say it aloud, that there is something missing within them. This in it to win it sort of a thing. Cause, but they've, it's interesting because they've got this 10 of pentacles right here. So they, they want that prosperous, happy ending. They see you as their empress. And they're trying to gain a new perspective about this. And I feel that if they haven't already, they're going to be offering the Ace of Pentacles here. You know, feeling out in the cold. This is the Soulmates card as well. So you know this person, what I'm hearing is can do better, can offer better. It's like they're trying to offer you the minimal so you, and see if you'll take it, is what I'm hearing. And you want the victory here. You want them to go, oh, okay, um, that's not going to work for you. Okay, let me see what I can do. But then it makes you feel like, mm, maybe they're not really in it to win it. So let me back it up and go silent. you got the Magician card here with the strength. So you've got two majors on top of each other. 
you're trying to manifest this and I feel like the clearer you get about what you're trying to manifest, the better you will feel. Yeah, because, you know, the ultimate goal that you want is for the King of Cups to come forward and offer you something stable. With the Queen of Swords, you've got the Sun card. You know, so it's like, you know what the situation is capable of producing. You know it. You know, especially here with this Soulmates card, you're like, yeah, I know we're in a bad situation right now, but let's move past that. With the ten wow, so they've you've got major on major, and so do they, temperance and the world card. So I feel that if divine time is necessary, the world can be offered, which is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And the lover's card just came flying. Okay, it didn't really fly, but it popped out. So with the knight of cups here. Is the lovers so they do they want you you know they want this ten of pentacles so interesting so guides why were they trying why were they trying to like offer minimal to see if you would take it that the reader would take it or the Sagittarius would take it just fear just their own fear You know, with the Ten of Pentacles, the Lover's Card, the Temperance in the World, and the Knight of Cups, definitely are in love with you. And why they didn't offer it is because of fear. Like the full Monty, they didn't offer it. So Justice Card. So you're wanting justice. They definitely want justice. They want to equalize the situation. But the Empress Card is the Seven of Wands. So it's like, I feel like they're having to fight for you. Why do they have to do that? What I heard is they know they can't fuck with you. They know, they know that you're saying, if you don't come at me right, I will cut you down. Plain and simple. You know, and it's not like you're a meanie, but you're just very stern. You're like, no. I know what you're capable of offering me, and if you're not really doing it, then <clears throat> I got the sword in my hand. Oops. Too many to take. And trust me, if they want to come back out, they will. So the hanged person, what is this? Okay. So, you know, with this hangman about trying to gain a new perspective, trying to, I can't even say it, free their thoughts, think forward, move past their fears, comes this flurry, is what I'm hearing, of communication. So this person doesn't want to take the chance of losing you because they see the goddess that you are. They see the empress that you are. God, this is happening in every reading and it's so fantastical. So... And probably like six maybe of the readings I've done. Well, maybe six is too much. But anyway, for February readings, remember tentative February readings, that the Ace of Pentacles and the Swords. So it's there's so many ones where there's all these new beginnings. There's new beginnings on top of new be beginnings. And new beginnings are clarifying new beginnings. So... This person wants to all offer you something solid and they're willing to go the distance to make sure that their thought is carried through. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of new beginnings in these February readings. But like I said, just because it says February, if this is your, your storyline six months from now, it's your storyline. Like I said, because these, these readings are so specific. So the Ace of, or the Ace, the King of Cups with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, they're feeling burdened by the responsibility of, I'm hearing, carrying their fears and letting their fears stop them, slowing them down to offering you what they want and offering, and you offering them the love, you know, because here's the Lover's card here. 
So they don't like this, this slowdown because they want the Ten of Pentacles with you, you know? And has it made them, go, you know, go into Hermit? Yeah. They're like, okay, I need to seek my own light. I need to feel my own fear. But this person's not going to wait very long. I feel that this person is like, oh, shit. I better, you know, get working on this situation. Because they don't want to be, they, they never wanted to be perceived as someone who didn't really want to, you know, they weren't in it to win it because they are. You know, they were just scared to, you know, come as the king of cups. So it says, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And which is true, like you're going to need to forgive them for not being able to let go of their fears and show up as the king rather than, what was it, the page? The Knight of Cups. And they're going to have to forgive themselves. You know, because I feel like there's a little bit of judgment. Like, oh God, I messed this up. Damn it, damn it, damn it. You know? Yeah, and a part of, you know, where, we, where I was talking about that they were hoping that you were going to take the Knight. It was just being them being deceptive. Not only, not to you. They didn't mean it to be to you. It was just more their lack of maturing. Someone is wearing a false, a self, a false self mask in this relationship. So know that it was not anything that they did intentionally, okay? Because this person really want to take. They really do want to take this to the next level. So let's do the Icarinis. So these are love cards from White Rose Guidance. You are worth fighting for. Because if you did put that sword up as the king of the queen of swords and was like, mm -mm, nope, 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 don't, don't, don't do it until you can offer me something real. Because I, you know, I don't think you, maybe you probably said this, but they probably are a little like, oh, I better get on this because I don't want any other suitors coming through. I find everything about you so pleasurable and irresistible. You know, and that's a little bit of the fear too, you know? You know, for them, it's like, do I really deserve this? Am I ready for this? Your words keep ringing in my head. So maybe you did. Maybe you did take the sword and was like, oh, hell no. Come back when you're grown up. Sorry, I'm really swearing in this one, but I'm a Sagittarius too. And I don't know about y'all other Saggies or cross watchers. I feel like to swear, but I swear like a sailor. So if this isn't something that you like, there's plenty of other readers out there, but Hey, I know that some of you don't mind it. So anyway, leave a comment down below. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please do. So now spirit, what else would you like to impart here? I don't know, I can't remember if they gave an initial message for for you guys. They're proud of you. They know that this was really difficult for you to go to this person and let them know, like, hey, and this is not the right words that you, you are the correct words that you use, but I'm not gonna allow someone to come to me as a knight and not a king. Either you're in that energy of the king or the queen, you know, because this is this is not anything where it's fast and hard of man or woman or, you know, he, she, it's he, she, they, it's whatever. So they're proud of you for having the strength to say, no, I, I know what I want. I know that this is a soulmate connection. You know, it is, you know, it is, you know, and if it takes a little patience, they're willing to have that. They know they need to get on this. Anyway, I flipped from there as to telling you the storyline again, but, um, Anything else for the Sag? They're just really proud of you. And it really showed how much that you loved and cherished yourself to potentially let letting this go person go. It took courage. And that you showed in spades with this victory card here. All right, my dears. Like I said, um, like, share, and subscribe if you like this. Um, there will be much more of this to come. So, all right, Saggies, 
It's Medium of the Light Tarot, Davida. Bye-bye.